Hi everyone, my name is Robin Boardman. I am one of the co-founders of Extinction Rebellion. And I have a message for you all today here in Kiel. I want to tell you that it's time for hyper-consumption of our society to die. The endless grabbing at straws of more, more, more is exhausting the human spirit. We are so much more than what we consume. The cars, the gadgets, the clothes, they are all symptoms of loneliness, of capitalism, combined with the advertising that constantly hunts for our emotional weakness. They hover over us every day, hoping, hoping for our fearful families, hoping for our vulnerable, ready to strike like vultures. It's in the wake of their wanton waste, an eye-watering amount of pollution, clogging up the arteries of our planet, that we attack the status quo. We tell them that they can't have their cake and eat it. It wants hyper-consumption and renewable energy at the same time. The two can't be combined. As soon as you rape the ancient woodlands for its lithium, you are destroying the chances of survival of nature. In other words, you are destroying our chances of survival. This over-exploitation, this destruction of all we hold dear, this isn't the way forward. Destroying nature's right to exist and creating so-called renewables is actually toxic waste to our planet. There's another way. There's a simpler, easier, more loving way forward. It's the way my grandparents taught me. It's the way indigenous people around the world have lived for centuries. To live in harmony with the world around us to not take more than what you need, to repair what's broken, to allow time for healing. I have been to Barroso, the Portuguese camp against a lithium mine, a massive project that will destroy beautiful world heritage sites and countryside, all in the name of so-called progress, of so-called green growth. It's a lie. It's a corrupt, toxic lie. The amount of water they need to fuel and pump this mine will totally wreck Portugal, a country that's already being destroyed by desertification and climate breakdown. People there have a simple way of living, a way that should be a role model to us here in Kiel, here across the Western world, a way of living simply with our natural surroundings. And instead, the lithium mine will kill off their culture and kill their way of living. We're seeing it all across the world. Indigenous land that's being colonized once again by neo-colonial forces. An attack on the guardians of the knowledge, of the knowledge that can really save us, can really protect us, really protect this blue precious sphere that we call the world. Isn't that the most important thing in that dark cosmos of night? Across the world, we are in resistance to such a delusion and violence. The odds are so stacked against us, I'm not going to lie. We're not millions of people right here now. We're not even hundreds, and it breaks my heart. But we are in resistance. The grandmothers in Portugal came together with some of the grandmothers from Serbia, and they had a beautiful saying. They said that to them, it didn't matter in the end. What mattered is that we were here together in community. And whatever happens in the struggle, at least we got to meet each other. At least we got to meet other caring, compassionate people along the way. Sometimes it seems unsurmountable. And I'd go a step further than those grandmothers, as beautiful as their saying was. Because in that community they're talking about is a new revolutionary way of living. I say new to us here in the isolated, atomized, capitalist West, but actually, it's a very old system of living, a very beautiful way of living in harmony. As a community, we can resist fossil fuel fascism. We can resist the death of endless species. As we stand here in Kiel, a trigger point once of the German Revolution, I want to call on you to rise up against imperial power once again. Recognize our strength as a community in what we can do to build a revolution, to tell the truth and flourish in the honesty of that truth, to really live our lives. The corrupt state will throw everything they've got against us. We are revolutionaries after all.
In the UK, where I'm from, 26 of my friends are currently in prison for resisting this state. The UK state, which now says that mentioning climate change in the court is illegal. Mentioning fuel poverty in the courtroom is illegal. It's outrageous. It's the slow corruption of our system by fascism, which will destroy massive parts of the world if we allow fossil fuels and these mining projects to continue. But together we can resist. We can make a new world possible. We can start right here in Kiel. It's time to put our bodies on the line. It's time for a revolution. Thank you.